The top three largest wildfires in state history all happened last year. One of them, the East Troublesome Fire, burned hundreds of homes near Grand Lake and Rocky Mountain National Park. As Jamie Leary shares with us, support for the victims is still coming in all these months later. This is the donation room at the Mountain Family Center, and after the East Troublesome Fire, the clothing donations were coming in by the semi truck load. And they're still coming in on a regular basis because the need is still great. And the community foundations here are not only preparing for short term needs, but for the long haul. It's a fresh delivery, but it'll only be a day or two before the shelves of the food pantry need restocking. Since March of 2020, Mountain Family Center has seen about a 200% increase in our services surrounding basic needs support. <laughs> Luckily, there's plenty of help. Since the East Troublesome Fire, even more people have come through the Mountain Family Center, and the needs go beyond food. We've supported over 300 families with rent and utility assistance. And actually, with the utility paired with that, it's about 600 households. Nearly $4 million has been raised to help with fire impacts. And thanks to a partnership with the local Grand Foundation, a lot of it will go here. We took in 59 boxes of Patagonia brand new jackets, thermals, pants, all this clothing that was donated. From winter clothing to housing assistance. One of the things we're discovering for those that did have insurance is how severely underinsured these people are. It's the magnitude, what it cost 10 years ago to build a home and what it cost to build a home today. Even for those with plans to rebuild, area builders are on a two to four year waiting list. You know, there's always going to be this constant need for years to come. And when it comes to long term needs, the community will likely need a few extra hands. We're talking about future flood mitigation, fire mitigation, reforestation, water quality. All of those things are imperative, not to mention the amount of downed trees and timber we still have. Still being in a drought situation in Grand County, it is imperative that we look to how we can prevent future forest fires. While the Mountain Family Center might be set on clothing for now, there are always ways that you can help. We've got more information online at cbsdenver.com. In Grand County, Jamie Leary, CBS4 Mountain Newsroom.